Hey YouTube Fragrance family, welcome to another episode of Shamplin' Shamples. Today I'm going to be sampling from the house of Odin. Odin, a brand that's uh, lukewarm in our YouTube Fragrance community. You're going to see some videos. I believe there's a few videos actually out on this, a certain fragrance. Uh, but uh, the fragrance I'm talking about actually today that I'm sampling uh, is called, it has got, it's got two names. Um, it can be seen as Nomad or Sunda, depending. Um, I believe it was a uh, copyright issue with the name. That's what I hear. Um, the name's different, but the same scent. Uh, released, I believe, in 2009. So Odin's Nomad. I'm going to call it Nomad. Um, big notes in this fragrance. Bergamot. Juicy citrus. Heliotrope. Some florals. Tonka bean. And sandalwood. So sounds great. Sounds delicious. What are my impressions of this fragrance? Off the bat, very promising. I was like, whoa. Odin, where'd you come from with this? Very promising. We got a rich, full bergamot note. Um, some say this bergamot smells like cleaner. I totally disagree. Um, this is very authentic, really beautiful. Um, I love it. It's surrounded by florals and some sweetness. Almost giving the scent to 11 cream pie feeling a la Edition Blanche from Chanel. Almost. Again, Edition Blanche kind of perfected that genre. Odin tried. They tried. Um, don't think this is a substitute for Edition Blanche. No way, no how. Um, they tried it. It's very close um, in the opening. Now in the dry down, it gives you a little more depth here. We got some musk, sandalwood, and some cedar. A little bit of pepper here to uh, round it out. Um, the citrus uh, sticks around, um, but really a decent scent from uh, Odin. Overall, decent. My only gripe on this fragrance would have to be the longevity and projection, which a lot of their fragrances just don't cut it. So that goes to staying power. This fragrance stayed on my skin for two to four hours. That's a no-go for me. Um, projection, very soft. No one can smell it on me. So that's just it's a waste of money for me. The good. Um, good things about this fragrance, that bergamot note. Awesome. Uh, the blend, the blend's very good too. The bad, the staying power. Pretty straight, straightforward. This is where... It wasn't an overall great scent. It was a good scent with no staying power. It just isn't for me. If you got a great scent with no staying power, I might just pull the trigger. This one, just couldn't do it. My final take, bottle worthy. Another sample or a complete pass. This one is definitely another sample. I want to give it another shot. Um, I really think that bergamot is absolutely beautiful. Um, definitely, if you're a fan of that note, check this one out. And this goes to the star rating. One being trash can, five being blind buy. Why do I keep saying blind buy? It's not blind buy if I'm sampling it. Buy worthy. Um, I'm going to give this one three stars out of five. So really solid juice. Um, if you are interested in a bergamot based scent, go check it out. This one's kind of decent, guys. Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure a lot of you have smelt this fragrance. Bought a bottle. Loved it. Hated it. Uh, sampled it. Um, comment below, let me know what you guys think. Am I spot on? Am I off my rocker? All that good stuff in the comments. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.